gates of the Ballybrit race course are closed to the public. So how will the race action be enjoyed by the fans this year and how hard will local businesses be hit? Kenny Deary is the CEO of Galway Chamber of Commerce. Good morning. Good morning. But first of all, Kenny, behind closed doors, what exactly does it mean? Some people will obviously be there, but no, no tickets are being sold to the public. Correct. Um, I think, first of all, it's important that the race week continues and we wish Michael and the team at the track the best of luck. Um, the, the best advice, I suppose, around social distancing was followed in this and what we hope um, in consultation between the guards, the business community and Galway City Council is that people would still will enjoy a pleasant few days in Galway but a socially distanced few days. I bet it feels very different there. Can you just tell us how you're planning to make the most of it? We still have a, an amazing, I suppose, range of restaurants, hotels. Uh, speaking to the tourism industry on Friday, uh, hotels are at about 70 to 80 percent of reduced capacity, so that's very manageable. Um, I think the, the there are plans for the city centre how we can manage the flow of people. Um, all the pubs are working together in terms of ensuring that proper process. Okay, Ke place. Kenny, I'm going to just interrupt you there because your line has deteriorated. So we're going to take a break and get back. And we're just going back to Kenny Deary, the CEO of Galway Chamber of Commerce. Kenny, you were sounding a bit socially distant yourself there, but Galway, as we know, is it's known as much for its social as its sporting side. Have many people travelled to the city to be there for the action? And how much will you lose because of not being able to have people at the races itself? Some of the loyal the loyal followers have indeed travelled again this year. Interestingly, the hotels are at about 70 to 80 percent capacity. And uh, now, talking to the hotel owners on on Friday, many of those are actually families now following the domestic staycation messaging as opposed to the the regulars you'd see at the races. Um, but what what we um, in consultation with the, the guards and city council have a, a plan of action in place, Carl, to to ensure, I suppose, a safe and enjoyable week ahead. Um, you know, there's many bars and restaurants open. There will be a festival atmosphere, but it certainly will be lower key than other years. You know, to the local economy, last year the, the races were worth about 70 million, so that's a significant uh, impact there. Would it have helped to have that staycation tax break covered this period rather than beginning in the autumn? I think it would. I know there's there's a lot of debate around that particular incentive itself and uh, its its workability in the overall scheme of things. But listen, I think the the great thing that we have with the racing uh, festival and indeed in Galway in general, with our arts and cultural events and everything else, is that those who have had great experiences in Galway in the past will continue to come. Um, I know that incentive kicking in from September will fit with a lot of our other arts and cultural festivals that are going to be announced over the next few weeks with the resurgence of Galway 2020 etc. For this week I think we just want to ensure that the racing goes well that those who do travel to Galway have a, a safe and an enjoyable time and there will be a much much uh, larger online audience this year for the, for the track and that's just unfortunately the way that, that they've had to work it. Well I hope you can enjoy it between, between the rain and the absence of fans it, it's not the best situation but I'm sure being Galway you're going to make the most we, of it. We certainly can... will and the weather hopefully will, will shine on, on the, on the car okay. Atlantic before the end of the week. OK, Kenny Deary, CEO of Galway Chamber of Commerce. Thank you very much. It is now half past eight.